disturbing case of animal cruelty uncovered, and today our cameras were the only ones there when the suspects went to court. WCNC's Melissa Martin is in our Gaston County Mobile Newsroom tonight, live now with the case some are calling the worst they've ever seen. Melissa? You're exactly right, Dave. And the two suspects appeared side by side here in the Gaston County Courthouse. Their first court appearance was quick and routine, but this is one case that has opened up a lot of eyes and tugged at a lot of hearts. Anthony Ross on the left and Robert Chavez Floyd on the right go before a judge and ignoring our cameras. A lot of people want to know why the dogs weren't fed. They're facing felony animal cruelty charges after investigators found dead dogs chained up. But when it came in, its mouth was full of dirt as if it was eating dirt. The poor little thing was so hungry. This one here in such bad condition, we saw her moments before she was euthanized. These were deplorable acts of cruelty. The four that are still alive are at animal control. <laughs> in pretty good shape considering officers found no food or water. Without question, it's one of the most severe cases that I have witnessed. They didn't witness any dog fighting, but that's the concern. Animal control has seen it before. What we're more apt to find are these spur of the moment, maybe less organized type street level, neighborhood type things. But dog fighting is a tough case to prove. Whether infiltration or happen to, to catch them, you know, in the act is, uh, you know, a, about the only way to be able to successfully prosecute dog fighting. And right now, Animal Control is evaluating the dog's temperaments. They're all pit bulls. They hope to turn them over to a rescue group, but they tell us they will not be adopted out to families. Pretty live from the WCNC Mobile Newsroom in Gaston County, I'm Melissa Martin.